Hey everybody, what's up? Brian here with Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging. Today, we're actually going to use the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual to do a real world inspection, just like we would with the M210. Stay tuned. Brian here from Smoky Mountain Aerial and today I got Mike and he's here from Accelerated Heights. We both have YouTube channels that you guys have probably all seen, watched, and if not then like and subscribe to his and obviously like and subscribe to mine. New DJI Enterprise Mavic Dual and we're getting ready to fly over top of one of these power stations. We do have a COA to fly here today so we're going to show you guys what some of the heat and the cool looks like coming out of the chillers. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put the 5.5 uh, Crystal Sky and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual up in the air and go look at some cooling towers. Okay, so what you're actually looking at right here is a shot of a power plant, and this power plant is a gas-fired power plant, natural gas, and what it's doing is it's servicing around five to 6,000 homes in the local area and several large businesses. So this was actually purchased by a power company from another company several years ago. And what we're looking at today is we're, it's on a shutdown status because they're idled down and they're, they're actually pulling power from another part of the state. So we're looking at these chiller towers here and you can see those there on the left and then the two burners is there in the center. I'm actually going to go over to the standard pallet that, that it's what they call hot metal that comes in the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and I'm going to switch back and forth between RGB which is the color and the several different pallets that come standard with the Mavic 2 Enterprise. So this like I said was hot metal now we're back to RGB or visible and then I'm going to go ahead and start switching through these several different pallets here it only comes with four so this one is the like the Globo and the lava. Uh, this one right here is the cool palette. So it's sort of like the ice or the cool palette that you would have in the XTs. It shows you the coldest spots. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over. This is a standard white hot palette. This is red um, for the hottest spots. So we showed you the coolest spots. Now we're showing you the hottest spots. And again, we're back to the standard FLIR image. Now this right here, I actually used opacity to show you the different shots so that way you can see the color with the thermal overlaid onto it, kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. And I moved it around a little bit there in Premiere Pro. This is a really interesting shot right here. And I included this in the video because I wanted to show you this is actually Mike and myself standing down there where we were flying from right outside the parking lot of the power company. And you can see the, uh, the hot roof on the little shed that was there beside of us in our vehicles. But whenever I fly down here and go into the full thermal pallet, um, Mike and I were both wearing black shirts today and his was actually showing a little bit more heat it was you can't see it because we wasn't able to screen record with the crystal sky 55 today we were having some issues out of it but his shirt's actually showing hotter than mine and I put my actually put my hand over on his side to see if he's feeling hotter there but it was showing 113 degrees on his shirt from the sun hitting his black shirt right here and you can you can see that we both had on black shirts I put my hand over there just to say you know whoa why are you showing 113 degrees on your stomach now, this is very interesting because while we were flying today, we actually encountered an actual real first responder emergency. There was a fire that took place during while we were, we were inspecting and filming. What this is, from the best that we could tell, we're flying at around 325 feet up in the air right here. And uh, we flew over there. It was a few thousand feet away. We saw the black smoke and it was a campsite and from the best that we could tell it was either a small like little camper or a pop-up camper um, there's a few campers out in the front here it's not really a driveway or a property but i started switching through the different pallets here and i wanted to see you know what this looked like and and actually use it in a first responder situation to put it to the full test 
So you can clearly see there the fire and at 350 feet up in the air it was actually reading around 400 degrees on the radiometric part of the camera. I, like I said I didn't screen record you can't see that but when I pinpointed it it was reading 390, 400, 412 and uh, at that height that's really good. There you can see the black smoke clearly and you can see the fire down there in the woods. So when I started actually flying around and you'll see that here in just one second I actually started doing a uh, a circle or you know like a 360 of, of going around this area you can see the fire through the trees in this pallet that I'm in right here and this is again the hot metal pallet that comes standard in the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel which makes this thing amazing for first responders and it's it's a very quick launch platform but what I actually did was I switched over I stopped and went back to color right here and then I actually switched over to search for fire in, in the isotherm settings. And that's around 750 degrees is what it's looking for. So when we go over to that pallet right here, you'll actually see through those trees clearly where this fire is located, which makes this thing a strong 8 from 1 to 10 in, in thermal for first responders. Because there you can see that fire clearly through those woods and that foliage. And if this was a first responder drone, they would be able to pinpoint and locate where that's at really quick. So I'm really pleased with this drone. This is a very good quick launch platform. And I think that mainly what they were looking at when DJI implemented this was not to be a standalone package. I think what they really wanted to do was make this a quick launch so that whenever they could put these cheaper in a lot of different cruisers and a lot of different fire trucks and then they could say okay this is what we're looking at we've got some hot spots here now that the big boys are starting to show up on the scene get the m210 out and this be a supplement to that so you guys need to like and subscribe and you know hopefully hopefully you like it if you don't hit that thumbs down whatever you, whatever your thing is but mike's a great guy and thanks to mike for coming out today what, how do they find your channel I am Accelerated Heights on YouTube. Accelerated Heights on YouTube. Go check him out. He's got some pretty cool gear. Later.